Oh, the chorus. Whew. So I just listened to The Game Is Over by Evanescence, which is their latest single from their album titled The Bitter Truth, which is coming out late this year. Y'all know I'm a huge Evanescence fan and that I've been a fan of theirs since the beginning. And a lot of fans have been eagerly waiting for this album because it's their first full rock album since 2011. We had the beautiful, wonderful orchestral synthesis that happened back in 2016 and 2017, which I think helped hold us over until now. And now we are getting a full length rock album and we're like, I know I'm super excited about it. But so I just listened to their new song, The Game Is Over, and I was voguing, headbanging, any type of thing you could possibly imagine to it because it is a, f a powerful song. And I think it's a very interesting contrast to the first single, which was Wasted On You. Keep in mind, I love both songs. I really loved Wasted On You because that song was very introspective and thoughtful. And there were moments of like reservation in it until it came up to the chorus. Like the instrumentation was very much, it, it made one feel isolated or alone in my opinion, which I think was fitting considering the music video essentially depicts life in this pandemic. But the game is over, on the other hand, I thought was interesting because the entire song, um, including the verses, they had like a very, like, like a certain power to it that really made me feel like I could feel my pulse through the entire song. And my interpretation of the song is it's, it's kind of falling along this theme of casting away the denial, acknowledging things for what they are, and owning that, and finding empowerment in owning that. Um, so, like, for example, like, the first portion of the song is, um, I've had enough, I've really had enough, had enough of denial. I'm not all right, but I'm not going to lie. I don't know that I ever was. Um, and it talks also about like isolation, being alone. Um, when all the hate burns off, I'm left here with the pain behind our vain devices. We are all the same. So those lyrics to me, which are phenomenal lyrics, by the way, basically is trying to humanize the listener and showing that, you know, beneath all of like the artificial, like, facades we create beneath all of the rhetorical manipulation that we deal with day to day. If we look behind all of that, we can all connect with one another on an emotional level and many can connect when it comes to pain, especially when it comes to tragedy, when it comes to heartbreak. And for me, this is just me, I could be reading too much into it, but I really think of this song in a political context um, because, I mean, if you look at the state of the world right now, a lot of people are in pain and we feel like we're losing our grip as one of the lyrics suggests or says, and we, we all just seem to pretend that things are okay when things are actually not okay. So analyzing this from a lyrical perspective, it's very, it's very powerful. And I think it, it really hits close to home considering recent circumstances. That's why I also love Wasted on You. Because that song and this song can be interpreted in a couple of different ways. Like politically or, you know, like on a human, on a human emotional psychological level. So additionally, like focusing on like the sonic attributes of the song. Um, what I love about the beginning is that there seems to be a like kind of like a chime or a bell um, almost like a church bell um, dynamic happening and it really is giving me some vibes of their open door album because in the open door there are some similar sounds and some of the backing vocals in this also remind me of the open door makes me nerd out huge big time and there are some elements that do remind me of the third album too um like like me like i think the guitar sounds sound a little bit more rigorous in the song like they do in that in the third self-titled album whereas i felt that the guitars 
um, in the open door had like moments of like being reserved more so. And I just, I'm, I'm super excited. I, I love the song and the music video for it is coming out on Friday. So that's going to be something to look forward to. So if you've listened to the song, um, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Just buy it, stream it, do all of that. We need to make this song successful, my friends. Evanescence, if you watch this video, I love you. You're wonderful. And thank you for working hard and bringing this music for us, especially during these unprecedented, unprecedented um, times because... I can't imagine how difficult it must be to do all of this work when you can't be in each other's presence. So anyway, love y'all. Have a good rest of your night. And again, thank you for this wonderful song. Bye.